criteria is we usually try to enable uh, everything as a module if possible. Um, new file systems are will enable by default. Um, unlikely to cause regressions will enable it. Experimental we disable by default until someone requests we enable it. And then we just have these policies here for why we build things in. So let's just get through this because it's rather long this Before time. Before we skip that last clause, why we build stuff in, I committed us to exploring UUID supporting the kernel so that we can have optional init or MFS. Okay. And that may require building in uh, more root essential devices, uh, specifically some of the network ones for uh, Pixie Boot and NFS. Okay. NFS. Yeah, people do still use it. So these guys don't want to use an init RAMFS because they want to build everything in. Why don't they just build their own kernels? It's actually a little deeper than that. And NFS isn't the primary use case. And it might shave between three and five seconds off our standard. Seems unlikely given we'll still have a 15 megabyte init RAMFS. No, we're saying it's optional. But you still need it to be, anyway. That was a different session. Right. So Andy has a nice script that generates this wiki output for us. So it breaks it down first by file systems. And just doing a quick check, it looks like. Is this the first time we've had the policies? Yeah. Here, isn't it? So the policy, the side column here, just kind of tells you if it was experimental, what our typical policy is. So it should typically, the policy should match what we've actually done, which it is. Particularly there, it's um, where the policy is, violates our normal policy, mm -hmm. uh, our base policy. We list the reasons that it violates it, thus making it not a violation. Right. So some of the ones we want to look for are these inconsistent types. Um, so ecryptfs we've built in rather than enabled as a module. Um, I'm wondering if we should add some of these to our um, config enforcer. Possibly, yes. In fact, isn't that one? But, um, I think that one might be, but yes, we should check. Okay. Also, uh, what's the last column? M. Uh, that's the policy, the suggested policy. Oh, policy. Okay. That's what policy says it should be. Yeah. Uh, general policy says it should be. So, script S. I would like to see that be made a module. What? Made a module? Yeah. Oh. Well, EcryptFS. It can't be. It can't be. It especially can't if be. we're going to make an NRD optional. But it can't be for there's some really good reason why it can't be. It's because it's not discoverable. So you can't have something, something on EcryptFS. Mm. Well, it's, it's mod probe when you go to do the mount. Yeah, when you do the mount. It's auto-loaded. No, but we're not allowed to do that. That's a policy violation for something desktop or something. So we have, if it's not auto-loadable, it has to be built in or something. Is this a Debian policy? No, this is a, something desktop made us do. That's why it's built in. Yeah, There's something that doesn't boot with, if it's not built in. That's why it's built in. I can't think what it is, though. <laughs> Off the top of my head. Hopefully it's documented in the enforcer file. So my, uh, my test and development kernels I use for EcryptFS on Ubuntu. I, I build it as a module and I have no problems. Or we changed it recently because it was a problem. Because it, one of the encryption things that it depends on became a new option, and because it was M that unbuilt it in and it stopped being built in, and something broke. We had to fix it. There's a bug well, one of the, for it. The hardware accelerator encryption? Is yeah, one of, the, one of the sub, you know how there's encryption mo modules for different types of encryption. One of them grew a new option and became equals M by default. It came separate. And that pulled EcryptFS out of the kernel and caused chaos oh, yeah. for something. We had a bug for it, so we had to fix bug. it. It's, it's in the enforcer already. It, what does it say? But there, what does it say? It just is ensure it's why, because other Because it cannot be can, autoloaded. Yeah. But it says other dependencies mm -hmm. can pull so it back. So we have to look at that bug what exploded. I'll dig in on that. It's, it's just a, a personal thing. It's easier for me to, to test and develop new code if it's oh, a module. That makes sense. You don't have to reboot or build a new kernel. So 
I'll, I'll check into that and get back to you. Um, I think when we fixed it, we checked it in with a bug number, so there should be a bug number. 827197. Okay. Thank you. As to why it had to be built in. Okay. So yeah, that's already in the force, is what you're saying, yeah. isn't it? Okay. Uh, the next inconsistency we built in eats T2, which seems reasonable. But should I, don't know I why think it's the policy M. Um, that was a deliberate to make us discuss it. Um, we have a policy of building in the the, the common um, file systems that we use all the time. So. But ext2 and ext3 are no longer our default file systems. ext4 mm -hmm. and ButterFS are our default file systems, so we're not really following policy if we continue to build them in. So the question is, do, should we still have ext2 built in, given that we now have three and four? Two is, who uses two anymore? It being built in, if nobody's using it, doesn't actually make any sense anymore. We should let it drop off the other end and fall out again, and then perhaps bring ButterFS in. I don't know, but it should be the the, the rule that causes EXT to be, to be built in says the default file systems the installer uses should be built in if that makes sort of, unless there's some good reason it's not. Can you think of any reason that something break? It's bound to be ARM, actually. It's usually ARM that uses old mm -hmm. stuff. But I think we're 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 like FAT and stuff. Don't we have FAT built in yep. because yes. of that? Because yeah. ARM's completely brain damaged. FAT. Is ARM, RPC, and a couple others that, that believe in that for the boot media. So, yeah, sorry. for well, boot media, well, right? Well, so, I'm just wondering if ESD2 should now fall off and drop back to being an That's the reason I didn't. I'm not sure it's really a not used okay. or whatever, but sometimes you use a file system which hasn't got a journal. Right, no, absolutely. I mean, it's not we're going to delete the file system. It's, it's whether it should no, be built in for boot. Module, is it so now boot fine. essential yeah. anymore? It's probably not boot essential anymore, which is what's called the option. It depends on how old the machine is that's been upgraded now. True. Uh, you have a box that was installed with Dapper. And they okay. did EXT2 for whatever reason. Yeah. And then they put but then it will still be, it'll still be But it will still be more probed from... It's which about efficiency. They're only pulled in for boot efficiency. Do we actually care about boot efficiency for those machines? Which LTS is about to explode? Um, None. Uh, they're all still pretty much... There, right? Well, Dapper Dapper's got another year and a half. Right. Dapper's gone. That's the only reason to keep it then. So I don't think there is. So mm -hmm. Do we think we can just pull that back out? As Might long save as us some space. Yeah. Tim? I can't think of any reason why not to. Okay. There, there is a fair chunk of code there. I mean, all those file systems are replicated. Right, that, I mean, that's the big thing. If, if EXT2 was just an option on the EXT4 code base, it so wouldn't matter, but it's not. It's a whole copy of the file system. Are all of those already in the UDEP metric thing? Or if we pull that out or, or make that a module, do we have to add it to uh, FS modules? For the I think they're already in there with question marks. Okay. I mean, somebody needs to do the job. Stop it. Yeah, worst case scenario, the person's going to stick it in there in an RT and off it they go up the race. Well, it should go in there by default, so. Yeah, so yay. Okay, so that's good. We, okay. We'll pull that one out. We just talked about fat. Put in on our sorry. Yeah, that's just for boot essentially. Yeah. Because of. What that's was the reason? reason? This was this retarded thing where ARM people delete the kernel they're running and then expect to be able to reboot no. or something. Nice. That was power, yeah. right? It was your fault. The kernel yeah. was pushed onto a fat file system to boot from. Yeah. Right. No, but the is no that's not the point. No, the problem no. is when you make the running kernel. It's when you, you can't uh, install. Because the, the, this is the reason. The, yeah, the, 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 the partition is fat for Apple, so you have to mount it, but if you don't have the model, so. This is people. Oh, it's it's so if you. It's not even available to the cloud. Right. It's, no, if, it's, if, it's, it's if you yeah. RM mo uh, depackage delete the kernel you're actually running, is the reason it's built in. I think it's an I insane think, use case. They just need a lot of space, that's all. Actually, I think the right fix should be to add a hook, a trigger somewhere, the uh, deleting of the kernel that it loads the fat model in case you're deleting the right. I don't think it should let you delete the kernel you're running. I think that's an yeah. insane thing. They don't ask you if you're insane. Yeah. Well, an, an answering yes should cause your machine to shut down. <laughs> <laughs> we've, de we've deprecated that forever, so okay. that's gone for us. Yeah, anyway, that's the reason it's built in, and hopefully that's documented in the enforcer file. Maybe it's not. Let's, let's put that to be... On SDA. 
Although that said, we're going to be using ext2 for the partition now. I can I'll use a three without journaling, which is ext2. So the rest of our file system configs look uh, well, fairly consistent. Vfat, that's another same reason. Yeah, it's, it's, it's actually file. the same file system. What's the CCA procfs? So I think procfs should probably just be elided from that list. Okay. I'll add that. Okay. So then subsystems, uh, everything looks consistent here. Network protocols. Uh, net ESA. <laughs> Can we just drop that net? I wish. Uh, didn't we push all those to be unloadable unless you went and messed about with Mod Pro by default? Yeah, we made a blacklist. So you can't actually load any of them anyway? Because they're available security issues. That, that was security who did that, wasn't it? Who uses them? I did the upload one. Well, I, I suspect no one uses them. Decna? I would imagine nobody has Decna. <laughs> I'm surprised anybody has X25. Um, well, if you're using an emulator, you might need it, but... Uh, yeah. Config LLC. Oh, yeah. Why does that else... Is it M on... Is that ARM? It is ARM. ARM. Yeah, it's always ARM that seems... Oh, because, yeah, we can't. You can't? We can't. We can't. It has to be compiled as a module. Why? Why is it? There's, there is a good... Just like the previous one, there is a good reason. Something breaks. If you okay. try to compile an LLC, I just can't. I'll find the bug if I have to, but seriously, there, there's a reason. And where is it? Config LLC. LLC can't be equals um, Y on ARM. We pretty much got to have it. Yeah, yeah but it can't be equals Y on ARM because it won't build. But there's a, reason build. You have to, there's a reason you have to, to bring it up as a module in ARM as opposed to compiled in. And I, I'm trying to find the bug. Okay, so we just know that's true. I'll write okay. that down. It, it, by the way, it, it, was, it was in our Onyeric tasks list. <laughs> to fix it? Yeah. Oops. So we've got net filter, net key, net label, net shared. Mm -hmm. what, uh, packets built in. Why is that built in? And everybody remember. That's a socket type, is it? Not? Some weird. Isn't that some pseudo? Mm -hmm. Isn't that the net config interface? The what? The net config interface. I think you have to have it. Maybe that hyperlinks to the descriptions. Yes. Yeah. Those are not easy to extract from the kernel, sadly. Well. But yes, that's on my list of things <laughs> that's we really do. Use it for TCP dump. Nothing right here. Use well, it for TCP dump, but it's built in. TCP dump is an example they give in the help text. Yeah. Can it actually be equals M? I assume it can. Um, it may not be. It might. I'm it's unsure, to say yes. If you want them to work, choose But that sounds M. like it's not an equals M. Is it a bull? Is it a bull? Uh, if you want to build this module, choose M. Oh, OK. Oh. If unsure, say yes. Since it actually hasn't caused us any problems, I'd say it's like, wow. Oh. Yeah. Actually, no, you can build it in. Config LLC? Yeah, it's been fixed. OK. It was just, it was just, it was just, it was inconsistent before on Eric. And there was, there was a straggler. And the straggler okay. has been fixed. So if you want to make it consistent, you probably can. Okay. We'll do that then. So we'll leave config packet as it is. Mm. RF kill it is built in. Yeah, I think that has to be. I think that's. There's some reason why that has to be, I think. What is it? Okay. Anything else inconsistent? Um, no. So, uh, so for SATA in general, we have the ones that are equal Y are deemed to be the most common three, I think it was, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Do we think the most common three may have changed? <coughs> I suspect not. Because I think everything uses generic anyway, doesn't it? Too much. It's the reason we don't build these in on power. 
I, I think it's incredibly uh, uncommon to have Sartre at all on power. Yeah. I think they all have SCSI. Non standard APA is, yes, on power, but no everywhere else. I have the feeling that one, uh, you notice it doesn't have a policy column, and I think that's mm -hmm. because actually it simply doesn't exist. Something. Well, we'll be better, we better look into that one. ATA non standard needs installation. Okay. Next. I think PIX4 is another. Uh, yeah, we, yeah, they're the ones marked boot essential, the ones yeah. that are the common ones. Cool. <coughs> That's uh, an experimental ATA driver. We have a policy of yeah. building those in because we can, and they're low regression because you have to have the hardware for them to even work. And if they don't work, you're no worse off than they're not existing. Are these showing up here because the arm doesn't? No, the, the per type always has all of them. Oh. So you notice there's nothing on the right hand side. Yeah, okay. Or except where they're experimental and we've moved them from no by default policy to M because oh, okay. they're opt-in for SATA. If you see what this one, why don't we That actually isn't a driver, that's an option on a driver, it can only be Y or N. Oh. And I think we've turned that off. That should not be there because it's a, a Boolean. Okay. You ignore that one. Potentially we could that add could that. could be a build issue. Maybe. Arta Opti, we should look into, okay. Arta Opti, investigation. That's a boot essential. Another boot essential. I'm not sure she was disabled. I think that's a build issue. Is it? Passer to shoot. Oh, experimental. But it should be on unless it's broken. So we should look into that. Okay. My head people. So I think all the input drivers are supposed to be on, again, based on the same policy uh -huh. decision that if you don't have the hardware, you don't have the hardware. Okay, so we... You are. And very few of these are going to be N, right? Right. Well, I think none should be N. If they are, it's a problem. And they're not, so that's cool. Good. The head driver is the same, they should all be N, I think. They, unless they can't be. I added sensor drivers this time because. We weren't able to, we, we were getting a slew of bugs asking for additional new sensors to be added, so we've, okay. we've put them as a policy opt-in for experimental. Because again, if you don't have the hardware, uh -huh. the driver shouldn't load, so what risk is there? Okay. Um, and we will never find out if they're any good unless we do. So all the sensors should be built in, but I believe they are all consistent. Except for sensors lineage? Sensors which? Lineage. Oh, you're... Sensors. That one's got ends. On arm and power, you see. Yeah. Uh-huh. So sensors, AK8975. Yeah. 8975. All those sensors are I squared C gives most, and they don't exist on some platforms. Right. Yeah. But I think if they're equals N, if they're dashes, that means you can't have them. If they're ends, that means you probably can have them, and they're just not on. So no harm, no foul. Just yeah. to, you know, if you put them in your knee, it gets bigger. Yeah. So there it is, lineage. Sensors lineage. And across the board, and then M. Well, the M at the end means the policy is it should be M. Mm -hmm. And it's not, so it's inconsistent with policy. Could be one of those we just missed. Same with sensors. Just use one of those. Um, What's that? Just new. Um, 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 
That's probably, a, well, it's probably an option on the one above. Oh, okay. They're actually quite difficult to detect because via yeah. the, uh, most, they have underscores sometimes when they're real and sometimes they don't. Probably we could exclude ones that don't have equals M as the policy. Yeah. From that list, we'll sit down and work out which okay. one, we'll come up with some work items yeah. for which ones we need to fix the tool better for. Okay. No. So we also added net filter matches because we were getting constant requests for new for ones that were missed that were new that had moved from experimental. So, so we've just gone for a policy of build them in, even the experimental ones for the same reasons. I think actually in this case we're consistent, we're good. so we're good. You're not building these in, they're just modules, right? Sorry, yes, but building them when they're experimental the default should be off. So we oh, continue to build. Them. Yeah. So basically, the next section is all. Things that can be a module but are not modules. Essentially, if they don't have an exception on the right-hand side, we should consider them. If they have an exception on the right-hand side, we should consider whether the exception is valid. But essentially, they should all now be documented. Yeah. Um, so that's ACPI is. Sure a good question. It probably shouldn't be. So what was that? A C P I ASUS. Okay. The custom method. If that is that deliberately off and should be have an exception. We should add that to the enforcement. Mm -hmm. Ready. Yeah. Okay. I'm actually surprised APM emulation is something that could even be on ARM. No, it can. I'm just surprised. Yeah, I'm not inclined to say, change it for ARM. I want to say it was written by Russell Keane. Yeah, I'm just. Actually, I'm surprised it, it, the places it exists at all places. It simulates the user space interfaces so that shut down. You can, you can do kick things. off other things it solves for. So it emulates APM for platforms. Right. We're still debating ACPI something. So I guess it's, unless we're asked for it, we don't care. Because ARM yeah. presumably does whatever ARM does. Suspends or powers itself off, it stays on. Actually, power management in ARM is, is automatic. I mean, right. you shouldn't be fiddling with it. Right, exactly. So. Um, we've got a whole load of block devs built in there, I see, which have not got an exception. I wonder why they're all block built in. And why we have some turned off. Wait, why is loop a built in? Uh, oh, non discoverable. Non discoverable and encryption. Yeah. Okay. Basically, if you want to use a loop, you have to mod probe loop because you can't tell if you have them. Which is just a waste of everybody's time. And we always use it. So, um, so why are all the block devices built in? Loop. I suppose MD is boot. These they're probably all boot essential mm. ones that are yeah. turned on. MD is absolutely essential on some platforms. I would think C groups have probably been pushed in by the scheduler. Mm. Options we have set. So those are probably boot essential, aren't they? Could be. Okay. Anything else? Broadcom 5 seems like an odd one to build in. Yeah. Can't boot without it in some platforms. Broadcom. Broadcom. What is it? It's the Broadcom Ethernet 5. The, the, not, not the Mac. This is the physical interface right. to the outside world. And if it doesn't get initialized, you can't. <laughs> your Mac might be on, but you can't talk. That's the MII driver. Yeah. Right. Uh, 
it's no, this is the hardware initialization on the other side of that MRI driver. This is actually I'm going to go play with some registers and get this and get this phi up. It's here. There might be some documentation on it, if not. So, so I think we need to investigate that. And so you should look at all the phi's. That's gonna um, be part of T G three, right? <coughs> what the cicada? Broadcom phi. Oh the broadcom phi. Well, it could be BNX2 or one of the other block couldn't it? Possibly. So, I've just marked it as needing this is, investigation. This is specifically the BCM 54, yeah, it's the BCM 5000 series. 5441, 5421, and 5461 phi, not Mac, the phi. Presumably it's not discoverable that you have one of those. Nope, it's beyond the Mac. Okay. Could be a side effect of building in a lot of the MII drivers because they're not discoverable either. And right. It's a registration race. Mm -hmm. Oh, the word registration race is one of the MII stuff. So, is this mostly affects S390s, not? You're right. That's, that's, I remember that discussion now. There was some registration race where you don't have a FI, so you don't register the card, oh. so you don't have a card, and then you find the FI and you go, Oh, I haven't got a card, and then you do nothing and have no ETH mail, so right. really right. odd. Okay, so we'll, we'll put those down to investigate. I think we know what that is. Um, so frequency governors have always been not discoverable because there are no UDF events for them at all, oh. which is odd. We should have UDF events for CPUs, I think. So. I'll take it up. Um, but that's why those are built in. What else do we have? Another phi. Checksum. Crypto is built in. Now, why is crypto built in? I think that's forced in by something else that's built in. Well, crypto like has the same registration race mm -hmm. as the uh, MII stuff. So just get it up, get it in there. It's not, I mean, the CRC32 stuff isn't very big. And I'm assuming the Intel is a option. Yeah, these modules will bail if the CPU no. is supported. I think if you build in CRC32 and you want CRC32 Intel turned on, it has to be built in as well. Yeah. Oh. So we have no choice. What are the colors? Sorry. Okay. Uh, they're the various flavors of so each individual kernel option. That we support. Yes. Mm -hmm. So ARM and uh, each of the x86 server and not server and so on to make because we're checking there consistent left to right and consistent with policy at the same time. Have we, when last did we do a full review of the number of kernel variants that we support and what the rationale is for each one? This cycle? We're yeah. is considering it? dropping or coalescing generic and server for AMD64 because there are few enough differences that we don't think it's worthwhile. So that will come up at the, um, fla the, the version, version number is a session on which kernel fla variants we have. Because uh, we're, you know, we're probably going to need some new ones for next cycle, plus which version we're going to. So, what about the PAE ones? There are still devices out there that, um, that require uh, non PAE or PAE. I was wondering whether we can consolidate. Is the PAE thing, is, is it a sort of doesn't work here, the one doesn't work here and the other one doesn't work there kind of thing? So yes, pretty so much. Yeah. Yes, if you have more memory and you want require 32 bits, you need PAE. But if you some CPUs still don't support non-PAE, if they, yeah, you can't boot the kernel. Some C CPUs are we talking? Four eight sixes, or are we talking? No, uh, more. Um, what are those some ones? We are. We are. Yeah, we are. Something. The ones they use for edge Ubuntu. And yeah, and the, uh, the geodes and geodes the... Geodes and things. There's actually customers that prefer the 32-bit because it looks cooler than 64-bit kernels. They're better. That was a push from Dell. Right, but they, would, but they would support PAE. Yes. By a year. They would. I think we should do a review of nuking uh, the non-PAE option. I've considered doing that. I think we'll get a lot of howling from the community, but I'm okay with it. Well, um, who runs 32 bit with more than 4 gigs? Lots of folks. Yeah. I mean, some of that may be mitigated because 
multi arch makes use of space work. Less there. than four gigs, too. Right. The only issue is VA and GA. Right. So Most we'll of those. Because right. um, a lot of those are running low end bandwidths. Sounds, sounds like a market that Mom is going to be that. Especially if we have something like I mean, we had a big push for 32 bits because things like Flash work a lot better. It has worked in the past a lot better because you could use the 32 bit versions. Now we have multi arch working. That does take a lot of that pressure away because you should be able to run the 32 bit versions correctly on 64. So we should have less pressure for 32 bits in general as a result. Right. Yeah. And of the 32 bits, we could just make the 8. I mean, could we make the non PA? Non -PA Essentially, community supported. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there a community kernel which is? There's an RT kernel right yeah. now that's community supported. Is there a canonical person? No, it's not a canonical person. Oh, the hours or? It's the uh, the media studio guys. Oh, cool. okay. that are doing it. And I just talked to him yesterday, and they're actually considering testing our current kernel because it may fit their use case because of the improvements in the schedule. Right. You know, I didn't want to derail it, but I did, when I saw the kernel config option story, I did want to come in and put, put, a, put some support in the idea of a hard review of the number of kernel variants we support. Like, yep. better quality on fewer options would be... Uh, and I think if we can't, for most people. If, even if we decide we can't do it for the LTS, in the past, we've taken policy decisions at LTSs of saying this is the last release, we're going to support something because they have a lot of longer support and it's easier for them to stay where they are. Is it, is, is it literally the non Intel AMD x86 chips that we're talking about from non PA or are they still Intel? I don't know of any non PA Intel chips anymore. They'd be really old, 486. Class. And, and we don't support them anyway, anyway, do we? Yeah, we've obviated that by changing the minimum CPU requirement right. in user space. Right. Yeah. So, because you have to say on the LTS if you so want. So, useful to know if, if all 586s from AMD and, and Intel support PA. I know they don't. Neither does the. Uh, I mean, they are, are. They don't have that page extension bit in the CPU, but they're still 586 class machines. So there are Intel 586s that don't support No, it's either VIA or AMD or GEO or whoever they are now. SMC, I think. <coughs> well, I think we could, if we could weather the, the storm, I'd be willing to drop the non PA kernel. I mean, it's... it's I try to condense the it's, number it's, of flavors every we can, we can have it in the archive, it's just we need to concentrate our efforts around the things where as users are going to look for quality, right? We're not getting many bugs on it. It's just a build resource and space issue for the most part. No, I mean, <coughs> yeah, sorry. For no disruption. So we'll take that. I'll we'll take well, my knife yeah. and put it on the other side. Yeah. Okay. Where were we? Crypto something something. Crypto being built in. Yeah, I think those are all the same problem. Yes, yeah, so we got mm. experimentals off. This is like a so there's an interesting question. Should we be pulling all uh, because DM policy thing? Uh, what do you call a DM type of something? So, you know, like RAID is a type of DM has a, a specific policy policy module, whatever you call it, for doing a type of DM. Should all of those be on by default? Targets? As much as targets, target. thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. device mapper, should all device mapper targets be on by default, even if they're experimental? Because you're you only going to use them if you mm -hmm. use them. So you're, you're doing it because you want to. And if you can't, it's easier for somebody to test them and find out if they're broken, if they're enabled. They don't need a special permit. Do you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because they're opt-in, is there any no, danger in them being turned on? The problem is then we get bugs on them. And takes us time to figure out, well, this is an experimental feature, and you piss someone off by telling them we're not going to fix it or support it or even investigate it. Yeah, some of those aren't that serious. Like, DM Flinky is actually a test module to make errors return up to file systems to test. The same as DM delay. 
Okay, so those are both so debugging anyway. But then they should be marked out. But anyway, that's fine. Okay. Was there four or five there? Uh, there is. The, well, it's the thing you still sort of that's probably need. No, that one actually makes sense. <laughs> but that one makes sense to be inconsistent because it is an Intel, isn't it? Uh, Intel hardware specific mm, BIOS thing. It, well, yeah. Oh, oh, sorry, those PC soft, specific. soft rates. It's a PC specific soft yeah. rate, though, isn't it? So that's actually sensible for it to be inconsistent. What did I just say? I've forgotten already. DM ray. DM ray for five is um, correctly inconsistent. I mean, I have to um, get, I guess I have the action for the. Delta, uh, review. Delta review to look into whether we still need it if we don't need it, because that's uh, in the Ubuntu tree anyways. Right. But I think we will. So is EcryptFS still experimental? Yes. How is that possible? It has brokenness. There is that. There's a lot of drivers that have brokenness. Yeah. yeah. But this one happens to have yes. a maintainer that that's actually true. leaves it. Yeah. Um, so why don't you yeah. like push the patch to turn it's it on? never happened, never no one's ever asked to do it. Can we get it off and fix for a minute, please? There you go. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> it's not bad. Uh, I think those... I think these are enabled. I don't know what that reason is. Uh, Let's see. 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 We're actually on 40 minutes it's because doing. Debian installer relies on having access to EFI bars. So EFI bars. And I, that's already in the enforcer. Needs, um, but it needs um, what we a call policy. Them. Yeah, Not a policy. Needs An annotation. Yeah. Um, what's it called? Uh, the DI requirement. Okay. Cool. Uh, okay. You said we only have. Yeah, it's T2 and do a module again. Yeah, that, that one we've already agreed we to be a merger. Yeah. Brain buffers. I think the ones that are built in are required. Yeah. Oh, what else we got? Fuse again. FDDI is built in. Why is FDDI built in? Is FDDI now still common? And why would we have it built in? It's just a protocol there. Oh, we. Yeah. So why is that not marked as a protocol? Don't we have a policy of building in protocols? I think so. Right, so. I think we have an annotation for that, so I'm a bit confused. Why is it in here? No, never. Okay. Ugh, can't we read this? Why am I using such a small font? Okay, next. Ugh. The config IE is turned off. I thought that was deprecated. Yeah, it probably is deprecated till it's off, mm -hmm. isn't it? get some of these, if you assign all the annotations to me, I'll just sort them all out. Okay. Um, oh, what else? Input mouse dev, they're boot essentials, so they're fine. FUV6 has to be built in, otherwise your machine yeah. goes to hell in a handbasket if it's blacklisted. I think that's, you found that, didn't you? Something like that. Uh, no. So we want to look at ISI, do we? Yeah. If you see NI, that means need investigation. Okay. Getting tired of typing it. Not, not interested? Not, <laughs> not interested. interested. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> L-guest, KVM. KVM's built in. What is the ISI? Is that the serial port card power. thing? Though? On power. Okay. On power? Yeah. Well, yeah, I don't know. Is that Someone was working on it for a while, but I don't think. You only have one, and so you can build it, didn't you? Yeah. Um, um, again, Marvel Fies, we've done it. 
more fires, we've done all those. Where else we got? We need to probably move on a bit quicker, don't we? And mid seas. Well, those are mostly coming from Arm and the ones they need are turned on. Same with NAND. Okay. Yeah. We've got a code page built in. No, that's built that's in. That's the default yeah. code page for, for um, NTFS. Fat. And fat. Having fat built in pulls that in, so that's fine. Okay. Um, do we need to. Oops. No, that's. Oh, yeah. But who's going to be renter now? On our PC. Right, what else we got? Why is there so many? A part of Toshiba we've already dealt with. It's your next stub. Pomodol Why is Pomodol FS not, not turned on? Whatever that is. Maybe a build issue. I don't know. But what we're not very good at is when we get build failures is remembering to turn yeah. it back on. Okay. We can see you, not interesting. Yeah. SATA. That's probably required. Oh, built essential on Power PC. Um, Anything no. else? Scuzzy blah blah. We've got a whole load of sensors turned off. A whole load of sensors turned off. I think you already noted these. Could that be that they the just been new section, and they just Right, I, I, I think there's a few of these that are being picked up because we've missed the experimental yeah. transitions for older things, right. which is fine. So, uh, Sound is all to do with um, arm, isn't it? And we have the stuff we need yeah. turned on. Staging driver, which is, we turn off staging drivers by the Sound point. prime. Unless you ask for them. <coughs> Don't know. <laughs> Unix couple of time. Config Toshima. Why is trusted keys? Oh, it is. It's built in. It's fine. Just read the line. Config USB. So those are all protocols built in. All these USB things. USB one? Why are these USB things turned off on? Some on ARM. One on. Okay, so. ARM and power. USB underscore something. Serial. Serials. Uh, oh. Quartec 2, that should be possible. Power, okay. We'll just note that to look at. All these video bits are. I think off video is because version. there's no point. I don't think they can exist. Again, they're all to loadable. Cool. So no longer experimental. Patch fizz to vert. I think that is correct as it is. Okay. Um, but we should annotate that. Um, patch fizz. Okay. So all these dropped from staging. But yeah, so the point of this is um, we're trying to catch the ones that are moving into the main kernel to make sure they move from off by default to on by default. Okay. That where they've disappeared completely and are no longer visible, it just says gone in the comments field because I don't okay. know where they disappeared off to, but they're just not there. So presumably they got dropped from okay. staging. So I think any that say gone, we can just ignore. So then the new options, we just want to make sure we're Which ones the are, policy. Yeah. Inconsistent Which of course here. is off the edge. <laughs> Thanks. Crypto. I think that said that's on. That has to be. Debug is the time that's off because it's a debug option. Yeah. Are we looking at these for the third time? Some of them. GPI. Uh, yeah, if they're new. Depends on how you look at them. You have to slice and dice them. This one. That's probably. Which is that on? Is that on? Arm? Yeah, no, no arms that's one to the left. I three eighty six generic. 
Mm. Why, is why is it built in on mm. that's just peculiar just yeah I don't know. what is that which one CSPIO CS5535 so yeah oh, okay. Okay. And then input. That's just a mode switch, so I'm sure it's okay. correct. Uh, MMC. MMCS, DHCR, MMCS, DHCR, <coughs> needs investigation, okay? Okay. Uh, How about time accounting? Mm. Get you there. Yeah. <laughs> That's like a specific configuration for specific AMDs. GPIO bins. <coughs> 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 what was the? I'm sorry. Go back a bit. What was the five five three five one we were looking at? The GPIO one. Uh, what was its policy? Uh, okay, that is specifically only supported on a specific geode or remote Elong device. That's it. It's used in an embedded AMD devices. So if we draw, so why is it not equals M equals M? Oh, yeah. yeah. Why Might not it? be discoverable, of course. <coughs> it, it need, Wait, I put it down. South, you know, it's a South Bridge, so that's right. I put it down as investigating. Anyway. Okay. Sensors, it's fine. That means it's consistent. Tell me, that's the end. That is the end. That's What's it. What's this? Some um, Zen things. Yeah. I think those are all your fault. I <laughs> know <laughs> oh, they're consistent, so that's all right. Uh, they're all turned on, so you happy? You, you um, did a separate review of Zen options, right? In the for the Zen, what's next? Thing. Yeah, so you didn't see them here. There's like Zen block front and Zen yeah. net, net front. They're not new. That's not new. Uh, and so consistent. I would sort of like to move them to be built in. As oh, same yeah, as right the uh, Powerbird uh, drivers for KVM. So is that, what was it, block front and um, net front or something? Isn't yeah. It? Uh, you want those equals Y? Yeah. For all. All um, server, all distros, or all distros all you might want to run in. Server and, uh, since in PAE, some people run PAE for 386. So anything? Seven, so actually make them on for everything. Uh, it, it doesn't that won't hurt. Hmm? It won't hurt anything. Yeah. Oh, make it bigger, I guess. Um, and I think the same so. was for uh, that's the same. Uh, I'm not sure how how the KVM Harvard. Uh, so KVM has an equivalent. They have equivalent drivers, just uh, block I/O or Word Word, oh, word I/O. I think Word I/O. Word I/O. Yeah. I I I've looked into that just uh, it's documented that. Yeah, I've just put KVM Word I/O equivalent yeah. drivers. So they're in there and yeah. things boot within. Um, and one thing that just I noticed when I booted on Eric on my thing, uh, yes. there's ACPI drive uh, procfs uh, interfaces for battery and the AC adapter, which is sort of gives always the warning that it's deprecated. Yeah, yeah but we should fit. turn see them off. Yeah, you'll see the reflection in the SysFS, so you'll always find the same entry. Yeah, in so the it new was battery class. So, so it's the 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 slash. Proc. Proc FS interfaces for ACPI battery and AC. Yeah. So to, to take them away fire. and to find out early whether some use space breaks. Everything I should think. I should think. Why is this the wrong session for the non PAE discussion? We have one on flavors. Yeah, when we we because the version selection is always so short, we took it out of this one because this one always fills its hour slot and put it into that one. So it's basically kernel flavors and kernel version is the other session. Um, when are we going to, when will we have a chance to do the second pass through this when we select the kernel? When we've actually got the Pangolin's kernel selected. Because if we get that, if we get our patches in just before, you know, for the 3-2 cycle, mm -hmm. that means that there's going to be more options. You're stood in your name badge. What? You're, You're standing on your name. Yeah. So are we, we're going to have one more chance to run through uh, a small subsection of this when... Well, I mean, new options will get enabled by the, the standard policy at the top. If your options are going to be off by that policy, you need to file a bug. Mm -hmm. 
and urgently tell us about it because we can't find it because it's very hard to find feature requests. We're not putting it in as experimental, so that well, so should, it should work. Be on, right. Okay, except but you one. should be checking. Don't come back yeah. after feature three and say you didn't check. Hell no. So, uh, That's why I asked. Yes. Was there a way to get that uh, HTML page that we've been using? Which? Oh, it's, it's, it's on the. It's if you go to the blue, uh, to the square on the summit, one of the two buttons takes you to it. Or is it clicking the text? But it if takes you go to the, the blueprint, blueprint, it says it, okay. it is part of the published information. So there's one option not on this page that I was wondering about. Uh, you dynamic, do, yeah. Dynamic debug. Uh, Dynamic DFS is way too verbose, and all the log, all the uh, bug reports, just people's logs are filled up. So Dynamic Debug is really nice because you can flip on uh, debug messages just for a certain file or a certain module, certain function. It's really cool. It's a new. Is that general across the kernel, or are you in quick DFS? It's general across the kernel. So it's it's an attempt to unify uh, kind of one-off Dynamic Debug implementations where people have like runtime options to switch on debugging. You know, mm -hmm. so they're trying to unify everything. So it's a uh, it's an option, I think, in the debug FS. To this is the dev debug macro. Dev warned it there. Uh, I think it's PR, PR debug and dev debug. Yeah, but so. And so they become conditional. Excuse me. So they become conditional. In each, each of them is named conditional rather than. I think I think so. I think if, if that's off, then when you make those calls, it's just a. Yeah, it's still. We debug. have yeah. we have debug FS turned on. Okay. So all you have to do is mount it, which we do mount by default, and then there's some uh, runtime bits. Some place in the SysFS you can set, okay. it will actually allow the output. Yeah, but it has to be enabled. I mean, it is it enabled? It's turned off. It's turned off. Okay. And so that's what I wanted to, to convert all of the SysFS logs into, so it would be nice if it was available. Okay. So we probably need to see if that makes the kernel 50 times bigger. Yeah. 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 Good point. Okay, so I've that at the bottom. Okay. I think we're already compiling that stuff in. Those I macros are expanded. I looked on, uh, I guess I'm on, on air. You know, yes, actually, you must be right, because you're complaining about the logs being full of crap, not the opposite. Well, I haven't converted any crypto over just yet either. No, but for everything else. Yeah, yeah. From our point of view of performance and size, there are actually any that are in there that are already been run. So. Yeah, yeah. OK. Anything else? Any other options, anybody? We must have run out of time because everybody's leaving. <laughs> we'll probably, the next probably on the hours. It's probably a 55 minute session. Which is why we never end up discussing flavors. <laughs> it's close to excruciating It is. And actually, that's a sort of session where you want that kind of input, but you want it in a session that's not full of boredom. Right, good. Well, you could have chased them off and said, wrong session. <laughs> I actually did say that, it didn't help. <laughs> That's okay. okay. All right. Pull that around then.